Poor nutrition costs Nigeria over 1.5 billion US dollars in GDP every year, threatening the health of citizens and the economic potential of the nation. Fortifying staple foods with key vitamins and minerals is one of the most uh, scalable, sustainable, and cost-effective tools to combat modern malnutrition in Nigeria and worldwide. This was a, a main thrust at the fourth annual Nigeria Food Processors and Nutrition Leadership Forum to announce progress in fortifying staple foods with essential vitamins and minerals. Justin Akadome has more. Fourth annual Nigeria Food Processing and Leadership Forum. Data showing significant progress in the fortification of staple foods in Nigeria was presented. During the last four years, the forum has experienced increased engagement by the federal government and CEOs of Nigeria's largest food processing companies, resulting in years of steady progress. The data presented at the forum, which was chaired by Aliko Dangote, demonstrated sustained fortification compliance for some key micronutrients and a decline for others, largely due to supply chain issues caused by the pandemic of COVID-19. Also, the issue of the Russia-Ukraine crisis came to the fore with a specific mention of wheat production. It's not a false claim, and I'm sure that uh, NAVDAC has also been working on this because we've got several visits from NAVDAC on this issue. So it's not a wasted question, and we are on top of it. We are also working on not just the saturated fats. We're also working on use of multi-purpose tankers and trailers in conveying vegetable oil. And we are working with NAVDAC on that. As of today, prices of, of wheat have gone up. Now, there's a lag in the system that comes because of inventory controls and inventory management. But it is something that um, we need to be sitting down with government today to discuss about what measures can we put in place to alleviate what is coming down the road. Russia and Ukraine, uh, they do almost about 13% of the world's urea and then 26% of the world's potash. And uh, then phosphate also, they are one of the largest in the world. So, and that door has actually, you know, gone off. Uh, there will be scarcity of food generally, you know, because people will not be able to access fertilizers going forward. And uh, we will not see the effect now, but in the next two, three months, you know, this thing is going to show. Fortifying staple foods has been proven to be one of the most cost-effective and scalable tools to combat malnutrition. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.